Musei Carnivale. have a very nice uh, French garden. Actually, very well now what is a hotel particular? It's basically a big private house of very rich person. So you couldn't book in a room for two no. for a exciting romantic weekend. And it just means a mansion <laughs> of a rich bloke. And he must have been rich. Think of the money that takes to build in the middle of a big and, city. And don't try to book a room in a hotel de ville, it doesn't work either. Not in the hotel de ville, no. Not unless you know the mayor. That's what's going on right now in Paris. Yes, they've got a big concert on. That is the Hotel de Ville. Yeah. And there's a exactly. huge crowd listening to electronic music. But not in that picture. That's the Bastille up there. We're going to go back in time and fly over Paris. And this is the Ile de Cité. And there is Notre Dame. Imagine us flying over medieval France. Now if only you could get into the Seine, this is what you would find. 
because the Seine has never been mudlarked or treasure hunted because the water never falls so anything that went in is still there thousands of years worth of artifacts just lying in wait <laughs> to be uncovered by me the tobacconist of the great conqueror aha that's an interesting brand of cigarettes isn't it Athena is that Athena is that you no it's the Duchess of Bourgogne ah drawn as Diana i.e. I think that's Athena but anyway Diana don't mess with this girl she'll have you with an arrow now this is what they call Louis XIV style white and gold never fails look at that and this is terracotta raw earth sculpture They'd often use this as the base for a bronze sculpture, but look at the workmanship, look at that, isn't that fabulous? Of course, they didn't have hair dryers or much in the way of shampoo, and they didn't have showers in those days. So ladies' hairs tend to be like that, kind of stray and tangled and curly. Because they didn't have any hair conditions in them days. In fact, the men had such problems with their hair, they shaved it all off, rather like modern sports people. And wore wigs instead, because wigs didn't get fleas. Whereas people who lived in this era would get fleas if they had their hair. It wasn't the cleanest of times. See, there's that hair, that grey flyaway, straggly, rather knotted hair. Ooh, the face of the Gorgon, meant to turn your enemies to stone. I don't understand why the Gorgon can't kind of close its mouth. I think it's because it's had its head chopped off by Theseus. That's much more friendly, don't you think? Helmets. Ooh, Viking helmets. No less. Up until recently. All time, the time of war. How very sad. Anyway, let's move on. Actually, that's Michael Caine, isn't it? What's he doing there? That's Michael Caine. That's all And not many people know that. Now, this is a fine staircase, isn't it? bit small, really, a bit modest, not the sort of staircase I'd have in uh, my palaces. Now this is a peak of the tourist season, and as you can see, it's not too full. Try doing this in the Louvre, you'll be fighting the crowds. I'll have none of that. Out of papier mache. That's how Voltaire was looking like apparently. Who? Voltaire. Voltaire? That's probably Voltaire. I don't believe it, I just didn't like him. Oh, Voltaire bits. All you ever wanted to know about Voltaire and didn't dare ask. I.e. practically nothing. Can you tell that guy's a king, can you? I can tell by his stockings. Silk stockings, as they say about the rich and poor. Up the stairs in woolen socks. Down the stairs in silk stockings. Now there's a clock. Look at that. So that tells the seasons, the moon, the month, hour, 
seconds, maybe not seconds, I don't know. And you can see inside it. Hmm. some celebration and they put the celebrations in so this was like when they first fly to celebrate Montgolfier yeah and his balloons no, oh now this could be my study obscure lump you just need to paint over all these door drawings and just nice white it'd be beautiful mm -hmm. mm. all this graffiti I don't know what were they doing in those days So this is the bridge of Notre Dame when they were knocking it down and it used to have houses across the top of it rather like London Bridge and there they are knocking it. Yes gives you some idea about how big they were. I don't think many Americans would fit in there not in this day and age. Or Europeans. Or anybody really. Anybody. Well yes no Europeans or Americans or Australians. People since 1780 have been growing and growing and growing and growing. And look, handles to climb in. No, I think that's for them to be, the bed to be carried to another room. Yeah, it is for, for yeah. them. Take my bed to the lounge, please. Because this bed was put in the middle of the room. It wasn't next to this thing. That's why it doesn't attach the, the head of the bed. It's not attached to the wall. Yeah. Take marble down over there. So that's all painted. It's called trompe l'oeil. Trompe l'oeil. Or optical illusion to us peasants. This looks like the end of the road for us. Nous passerons pas, as they might say. So I hope you've enjoyed your visit to the Musée Carnaval in the Marais in Paris. I've enjoyed taking you around. And if you get to Paris, I suggest you come and see it for yourself because it's an amazing place. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and like because that helps get the word out by YouTube to come by and see my videos which I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye bye. Three times on the trigger and it turns around to see. So now we've got a selfie. Yeah, and now if you want to do a head, you just click it twice and it goes and clicks ahead. Yeah. So one, two, three. Selfie. Yeah. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. And it's no shake. Yeah. So when you go up it, it self centers itself, you see. How much? How? About 400. Four, 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 five hundred euros. Dollar? Uh, yeah, dollars. Four, five hundred dollars. Yeah, very good.
big clock will grow in your belly. So don't smoke. <laughs>